Hi, I'm Dan Chambers, the founder of Chambers Law Firm. This is the next in a series of videos that I've put together to help you understand the criminal procedures, the processes, and the court system involved in your misdemeanor or felony case. Right now we are in the middle of a felony case. In our last video, you'll remember that we talked about the arraignment after your preliminary hearing. It's sort of a second arraignment, if you will, on what's called the felony information that lists the charges the district attorney intends to prove at trial. Your felony case now goes into a very critical phase. It can last anywhere from 30 days to six to nine months. It really depends on the complexity of your case and how much is involved, but it's called the pretrial phase. Now, there's a lot of things that go on in that phase. Number one, you'll have a few pretrial hearings scheduled in your case. Number one, for the judge to find out, can we get this case resolved? Is there a way to resolve the case without a trial? And number two, what discovery do you need from the district attorney? What pretrial motions do you need to file? And what other things do the parties need to do to get ready for trial? Now, let's talk about that for a minute. In building a case against, uh, uh, in your felony case, you're going to need to do a bunch of things. Number one, you've got to do your own discovery. It typically means hiring experts, a private investigator, or any other professionals you need to establish whatever defense you and your attorney believe you have to the charges. The other important thing is to press the district attorney to provide all of the discovery that they've generated in your case. You as the defendant in the case are entitled to all of it. And it's important that you continue to go back and ensure that the district attorney has turned over everything. The other important thing, and we talked a little bit about this in the misdemeanor pretrial phase and in felonies, the stakes are even higher. There's a lot of pretrial motions you may want to consider. Was it an illegal search or seizure? Did they take a statement or confession from you without giving your Miranda warnings? Are there other procedural issues that need to be litigated by way of a motion? For example, do you believe that some of the charges in the information weren't proved at the preliminary hearing? If so, your attorney needs to file what's called a 995 motion to try to cut down on the number of charges you face at trial. Those are just some of a variety of pretrial issues that may come up in your specific felony case. In the next video, we'll talk about sort of the end of the road if you can't resolve your case, a felony jury trial. I hope that this video was helpful and informative to you, and more than likely, you still have a lot of questions that you'd like answered. We at Chambers Law Firm pride ourselves in effectively communicating with our clients and trying to answer all of the questions they have about their cases. Please feel free to contact us with any questions or concerns about your specific case. For prospective clients, we always provide a free consultation, and we have Spanish speakers available to help you if necessary. Thank you for watching.